good tone on that I piano. This. I love this. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what side of the world you're in. I'm Half-Life Sister, and this is my Heather Wolf Kane. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel and to another episode of Sister and the Wolf Reaction. We're back. <laughs> this is a special one. <laughs> yes. Uh, some of you may remember that we did an album review from The Touch called The Asylum. We did it from beginning to end. We and did. It, and it was actually a very nice experience. It was a really enjoyable experience. It was. It was. I was afraid I wouldn't like it, but honestly, I loved that album. It was more than I expected and it allowed me to touch down on places <laughs> in oh, yeah. my, it took us you some know, places. it took me some places so yeah I'm really really excited for this one so thank you baby I really truly appreciate you yeah because it, it dealt with some mental illness and we it talked did. about some mental illness that was in, in your family, family your yes, sister and yes, stuff like that so yeah. it got emotional deep you are deep brother and get, don't be afraid to try new things uh, you know, reaction channels, they tend to want you to react to things that they already know and love because they want to see how you react to right. it because they know what's coming. Right, right. But this is a different kind of experience where none of us know what's about to happen. I have no idea. And you can join with us. And really, he's basically sponsoring our channel. Thank you. And uh, Thank you Jim so Serene. Much. Jim. Who I mispronounced his name in the first reaction, so I'm correcting it now. You did? How did you pronounce it's it the first one? Saren. <laughs> oh, Saren. But it's actually serene, like chill, relax, yeah, right? That's what's up, baby. And yes. it's kind of like his music, right? So, Jim. I'm yeah, Jim is one of those indie artists who produces out of his home. We've been seeing uh, quite a few big names who do that. Winter Sun Winter and yeah. Shoshan Magur, <laughs> the one name I can't pronounce. Um, there are bands who successfully do that. Um, I, well, actually, no, Winter Sun doesn't produce out of their home. They have a studio. But what I mean is there's a, there's a singular person, right. a singular creator, and then he will get artists, artists to too. contribute right. on there. And that's what Jim is doing. So he has his own studio, Phantom that's Production, so cool. which isn't a real studio. He is a phantom. You uh, showed me a picture, I think, of the studio. It looks purple with purple and black. It looks yeah. really cool. Yeah, take a look at it here. So, so this cool. is where he creates. So what he does is he plays the bass and the sax on his synthesizer. Okay. And he's got a friend named Vic who does the guitar. And Jen Cancio. Okay, she's Jenny the vocals. Kenzio. We heard her. We heard her in the first one. Yeah. The same so, one? Um, okay. Any okay. female vocals you hear is going to be her. Okay, cool. Uh, he does drums on the software and everything else and the composition and everything on his synthesizer. Okay. So, his, he's doing concept albums. The first one we did was a, an, an adventure was through asylum. an asylum and the psychological impact wow, on what that. what a journey that was for us. Jeez Louise, baby. Yeah, and this one's called Satin Dreams. And Satin this one... Dreams. Apparently it's a journey into the unconscious mind of sleep, altered states, deja vu, stress, loss, love, and sex. All right? Okay. The first one was a bit Pink Floydian. This it one, was. he says, is going to be a bit more jazzy. He's broken down the track list for me and gave me a bit of a quick explanation as to what each track, uh, you know, what he was intending when he wrote it. Okay. And we'll see how we feel when we listen to it as well but of course. mindless haze is track one and okay. it's drifting into sleep satin dreams your mind becomes a slave to the night memories of you remembering the lost love pure sex <laughs> whatever that sounds like i guess we'll find out what okay. pure sex sounds like <laughs> lost loves pure sex okay yeah deja vu okay. experience the altered state of having been there before mm -hmm, mm -hmm. time and again okay how life repeats itself in everything we do. Indeed it does. It can. I can't take it. Stress of situations that seem too big to manage. How do you pronounce this? Sojourn? Sojourn, yes. Sojourn. A peaceful yet mournful journey of surrender yes, and loss. Journey. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay. Midnight fantasy. Your dreams recall the people and places you've loved and lived, uh -huh. surrendering to them. Gotcha. Okay. Ode, which is an honor to Vic's mother, who passed away uh, last year. Oh my God, condolences. So yeah, indeed. She was 93. Wow, she lived a full life. She lived life. a very full, yes. blessed life, very nice. Um, okay, okay. So we're gonna see, I believe he said that there's gonna be a young picture of her in, in the, oh the video. Oh my goodness. So we'll, we'll see her. I'll try to have my eyes open for that, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Eros, Eros, Eros? E-R-O-S? I would say Eros. 
Okay, just close your eyes and feel the bass guitar and kick and snare drums pulse through you. Mm, do that. I want that. Kind of an encapsulation of life, really. Gotcha. In the journey of life. So, let's... Serena, I hope you like. Wait, what's his first name, Jim? Jim, yeah. Jim, I hope you like the background. How I? I think it's awesome. It it's giving me a Matrix feel. Yeah. But it's it's also very uplifting, very cool. He's interested in your feedback, guys. So you know he wants to. Basically, the band's called The Touch, and he wants to touch you with his music. So if you're watching this, uh, put in the comments what you thought of the music, which tracks you liked, and give him some yes, feedback on, on, on how you felt overall as the experience, and let him know uh, whether or not his music did, in fact, touch you. All right? Oh, that's so That's sweet. what we're going to do now, and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. You ready to go on an adventure? I'm, I'm nervous, but I'm excited. All right. I'm ready, Join though. us. Let's do this. <sighs> Thank you again. This is so cool. Now we have it set up to pause. I won't pause unless there's something I want to discuss, but I really, if each track kind of blends into each other and it's about an adventure, then I'll try to let it play for as long as possible and we'll talk about it afterwards. Okay, so after each song, just, just give me a little nudge or something so I can pause it, okay? Yeah, if, if necessary. All right, cool. Let's just see where it takes us. Let's do it. You ready, baby? I'm ready. I'm ready. You guys ready? You better be ready. Let's explore our unconscious mind. Mindless hands. Ooh, mindless hands. That's harkening me back to the asylum a little bit. I hear that familiar sound. This is even the pure sex part. <laughs> Sounds like a real sex.
Vic doing his thing there. Great start. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Balance the vocals much, oh, much better this yes, time. Yes, yes. Like oh, the layering man. of the vocals. Her song is so Ending her was great. Voice is so pretty. Good job. What's this one? My trip's gonna like this, I think. I'm sure he will. Shadows of Patrick too, because he's looking for some good drums.
That might be my favorite so far. <laughs> you mix you. that really well. You mix that song really, really well. That's amazing. That was amazing, yeah. Everything is just really, really well done, really well produced. Wow.
feel like he's just a stone's throw away from symphonic metal here. He's just like wow. Just takes it just a tiny step further. I'm blown he's away like, by this album. I'm so glad. Good job. It's so good. <laughs> I have to pace myself. <laughs> it's too much. this. Pause it if you need to. So time and again, how life repeats itself in everything we do. <laughs> so clever to end like that. Beautiful baby. Yes. Mm. I love this album, baby. Excuse me. Sorry. Familiarize me with all that you know. Desensitize me and then let me go. Conceptualize what you want.
aggressive here. yet mournful journey of surrender and loss.
Hmm. Ready. Wow, <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs>
I don't, this is too much. <laughs> Excuse me. You can pause it because I'm curious why it made you cry. <sighs> Was this album made for me? <laughs> well, what, what's interesting is that the, the first half and the second half seem to be a bit different because the first half yeah. definitely uh, gave me kind of Pink Floydian, oh, absolutely. Southern Rock, Dire Straits kind yeah. of vibes. Definitely. The second half is kind of how would I describe it? Like this song right here that we just heard. Oh, de definitely, a, a, this is the kind of song you would certainly listen to. Yeah. But now we're kind of going into like maybe like a Hall and Oates kind of territory where that's kind of where I draw my really? line. You know what I mean? It's like really? uh, this. This is no. not for me. But you know, it doesn't feel a Hall and Oates. But to you me. certainly. No, I'm not saying it is. Sounds like Hall and Oates. I'm saying the difference between Hall and Oates and Pink Floyd. Gotcha. Like, like both of them are kind of adult rock style, but very different in kind of emotional tone and, and sound. It was very... One's a little more felt, poppy and felt, whatnot. It felt like, you know, you had the, the, the retro 70s flow right, mixed right. with fantasy. This was kind of 80-ish. And wonder. Yeah. And it, there was some sadness there, but it was a sweetness about the sound and the song mm. that just... It just touched me. Interesting. And when she was singing, the lyrics were, it resonated with me so much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, her well, voice is so good. Well, the song was about your dreams, recall the people and places that you loved and lived surrendering to them. Is that what you were feeling? Not necessarily. Nostalgia, but I mean, no. It did, feel, it, feel, it did feel nostalgic though. It did, it did, interestingly enough. Um, but I felt that I was, that was a song that she was singing to me for me. It mm -hmm. was just, it felt so personal. And I, I love that song so much. Uh, the first half of the album I thought was fantastic. It was fabulous. And I'm not saying this, there's anything wrong with what's mm -hmm. happening here. I'm just saying that this is out of my gotcha, comfort zone, gotcha. you know, out of the, my listening zone a little bit. Gotcha, that's okay. Um, I still think that, you know, he's producing it very, very well, Jim. You're doing very a good job well. with the... Uh, with the vocals I am and, so and impressed. The, your piano playing is, is excellent. Vic's guitar is excellent. Baby. And you yeah, guys I, are uh, doing a good job here. Yes, you guys And are. I'm just really impressed with how good the bass sounds, how good the sax sounds, how good the it's drum sounds. It's not sound. a real saxophone. Being, being yeah, done That's by crazy. the synthesizer, I'm really impressed with, you've got clearly um, some good software here and you're creatively putting together some very interesting sounds. Yes, you are. Particularly, you know, now I'm not remembering if it was this song or the last song where the drum progression was very progressive and very unique, very interesting. That I think Vision. was this. We did the same thing last. Yeah. We did our last album. Well, you know, they they flow into each other a little bit. Such a and you know, honestly, to to I think it's brilliant. I feel every song. He certainly blends put into his heart next. into this, and he he definitely took his time and produced this really really yes. well. Yes. Yeah. It is evident. It is evident, baby. Yes. You don't feel like, it, you know, it's just one big story. I mean, it's we're almost crazy. done, and it doesn't seem, it didn't feel no, this, this very long it. at all. We have two songs left. We have Ode, which is uh, an honor to, to Vic's mom, Only and we have the, the final left. final track, Eros. I'm blown away. Thank you. This Good is job. so cool. Thank you, babies. Okay. All right, you ready? Let's continue. Okay. <gasps> oh, my God. I love this album. I really do. Condolences, by the way. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my goodness.
right? Wow. <laughs> yeah, that was sad.
Cool. Wow. Good way to end it there. I wanted more. <sighs> I wanted more too. Jim, you thinking about symphonic at all? Symphonic metal or just symphonic music? I feel like you're just a stone's throw away from there. I feel like that's the next progression. The tone of the piano there and stuff. I, I, I hear it, man. I feel like she can wow. pull off the vocals. I'm blown away. I enjoyed the first one. Of course, you guys know this. You yeah. saw it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this was like, oh my God, night and day as far as the flow and feel and the flavors and colors of this, this, this album. I'm impressed with how much I love every time the sax kicked in. I love the sax. Let me tell sax. you something right now. Honestly, I love the sax. And, and this song, I could not believe this wasn't a real sax, babe. Are you sure? I know. And you know what it made me feel? Remember when we heard Ishan? The black metal song with sax? No. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes I remember. Yes, the black metal song with yes. sax. It's on our Patreon. It's That's what it made me, like, every time he kicked yeah. in, I'm like, it, you, it's so unexpected to have the sax. But it's like, man, how come people don't use sax so more cool. often? It works so good. Oh man! And yeah, it sounded it sounded like a sax. I'm not gonna lie. You guys did a really good job. This was beautiful. This is a beautiful experience. I enjoyed every moment, and I cannot believe it's been 40 minutes. I love the last song. I, I love Memories of You. That was one of my favorites. Uh, Deja Vu, Satin Dreams. I loved her. Some of the singing choices she did there, particularly oh, man, on yeah. those last I lines. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Ode was interesting. Uh, it was short and to the point. But there was, um, you know, I, I closed my eyes on that one because I wanted to see what where Vic was at. Because it's interesting because, you know, I lost my mom at a young age. Yes. I can't imagine her living to 93. So while on, on the one hand, I would say, great, she died of old age. That's, yeah. I mean, I, what better can we hope for? Yeah. Um, I still don't think that it gets any easier losing your loved one, you know, so... As I was listening to him play, I was listening to, was he solemn? Was he happy? Was he, you know, where was his mind at? And I wanted to hear it through his notes and I kind of felt like there was a certain sadness and a certain kind of bite right. to the notes at the beginning. Mm -hmm. But then it got kind of, I don't want to say happy, but like, like he's remembering fondly. I did feel that. I agree, baby. Good job. But I, then I, that ending, when it almost sounded like a bell tolling. Yes, yeah, that was very that that haunting. I'm not gonna that tear me up a little bit. That I'm not gonna haunt. lie. And I'm, I'm kind of glad it didn't last too long. Yeah, if that kept going, I would have I would have yeah. started crying. Yeah, me so, too. It would have been heavy. Uh, but yeah, I was just trying to see like through his notes what 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 he was saying as he was honoring his mom. So I thought that was super interesting. That was really beautiful though. And I heard it, we heard him playing a little bit different than we've heard him on all the other tracks there. Mm -hmm. He was kind of just pulling out like singular notes there. Yeah. That so, was a very short piece in this beautiful full album. But very cool. It spoke very, very yeah. loudly. Very interesting, yes. Indeed. Probably my least favorite song seemed like your favorite though. Which one? <laughs> the eighth one, Midnight Fantasy. Midnight Fantasy? Yeah, the one that gave oh. me those uh, those old school kind of... There, there. <laughs> 80s vibes, but you actually cried to oh it. Oh my god. I think I, it was beautiful. I love it. One of my faves. I need to pull up his email. T talk if you want. I yeah, I just enjoyed time. this a lot. Honestly, there's not a whole lot I can say. This is a great experience. I felt I was taken on a journey and every song flowed so beautifully. It's like butter. They all flowed so beautifully together, right, babe? Like, I didn't feel like I was listening to well, it's a, a different concept album. album. It, yeah, 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 it was a beautiful concept album and I am just, I love it from beginning to end. I love it. Yeah, I, I will say the Asylum felt more like a concept album. In, you in, think so? Well, in but like I mean, a progression I think they both of. Do. Yeah, but each each one of these songs did feel like it can be its own thing. Whereas with the Asylum, oh, it felt like a progression of a story. I disagree with that. Well, I need to give you a better opinion. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there was certainly a cohesive sound to it, but I yeah. do feel like some of these songs are like good as, as just singles. You know, whereas. I think with the asylum, oh, you, definitely, you, I agree with the, that. The context of the entire album works better for the asylum, whereas here you can hear these songs individually and they can stand on their own. I mean oh, it as a compliment. Oh no, I really. agree with yeah. that. Maybe good job. I get, I get it. Yeah. I get it. We're here. But yes, I'm so happy. Thank you again for your continued love and support. Like really, I mean, this is a big deal. I really, really appreciate your support. Now, Jim. So you obviously 
have seen some of her reactions and I'm really curious now because how did you know he said eighth, eighth, the, the eighth one which is the midnight fantasy he said that was the one you were going to cry to no I and don't believe said, you and honestly, no. if I heard this myself and I heard them all, that's not uh, that's not the Wait one I would have Wait a second. Let me, I don't believe him. Let me see it. Thanks. I'm predicting Sister's Favorite will be number eight, but she will say wow what? quite a bit, I hope. Okay. So. No way. But that's I'm, crazy. That's I'm, crazy. I'm curious how you knew that. So, if you enjoyed that, uh, let us know which tracks you enjoyed. Let uh, let Jim know. Please He'd like to get your feedback to here. Channel as well. Check out Phantom Productions. As he says, Phantom does not exist, but his music does, and he's hoping to touch people with it. Oh, I'm touched deeply. By <laughs> really and dumb. man, that was a cool experience. There's a lot in here, light, and I'm not gonna lie. I'd like to see what you can do. Uh, a bit more symphonically. I feel like you have the this chops. This has definitely felt more symphonic. I, I heard Towards elements the end, here the that he can translate into. I oh, mean, absolutely. I'm assuming maybe it's just not his style of music or whatever. But I but feel I think like you can do anything. Yeah, I feel like it's there, man. I feel like if you did that, also, oh man, I don't know. I think people would like it. Just saying. I think so too. But this was cool. Like I said, it made give me vibes of Ishan when those. That, that, I mean, when he said jazzy, I'm not gonna lie, I was concerned because I'm. Not, I know you were. I'm I know. Not I know. a fan of I'm jazz. I'm just glad you're so open-minded and just free, you know. Yeah, but I mean, you know, while I yes, I get that. it. It was, I guess, jazz-inspired. It certainly still had those classic oh, rock vibes. Absolutely. Still had all of that, and yeah. just adding the the sax, and he's adding that sexy sax. He's adding that Honestly, midnight. Honestly, this entire. Because there's Isn't different that... kinds of sax sounds. I know, I, I know. He chose the one. This is a really sexy <laughs> album. I know there's some darkness there. That's possibly, how you, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is a very sexy yeah. mm, album, baby. Overall, like even though the songs are a bit different, each one technically can be pretty sexy. Each I one, agree, I agree. You know, each one can be played in the background during an intimate moment. Let's be real. Oh my God. So good job there. Indeed. Yeah. <gasps> well, I mean, I don't know. If Except maybe I can't take it. Maybe not that one. I can't take it. Yeah, the one with dealing with the stress. Oh, and that one is that was def definitely that gave dark. me. I don't know where I, that was making me harking me back to something, and I it's annoying me because I can't put my finger on it. Mm. I want to say Broadway or something. There was just something in the definitely, way yeah. in the way the the, the lyrics were delivered I that agree. I just felt like there was something going. You know. Yeah, I it, agree. It, it sparked something. Yeah, there's a lot of fantasy and and cool stuff. You know, it's just I love this album. There's just so much to it. It's just fascinating what you can do now uh, in your own studio. And, know. you know, technology has gotten so far where really the only limitation is your, your own imagination, your I own agree, creativity, you know, especially when you got friends like Vic to, to help you with the guitar. I yes. mean, you know, and just the fact that he can make the sax and the drums and everything sound like it's someone. It's crazy. Is, the drums are really good in this song. The drums sounded great. So good. And they're real drums, right? No, no, they I weren't. Can't. That's my okay, point. Okay, so what's real? I know he programmed those okay. drums. He programmed the drums. What's real is his piano playing. The piano's real, okay. So, and, and keep in mind, so when he's playing the sax, he's it's he's doing the synthesizer sax. Stop so each playing. note, I, that's each not note how is playing. Yeah. I thought you, he so, plays different things individually and then put it all together. Well, he does. He can do that as well. But you can wow. make a synthesizer sound like whatever you want. So. Pretty much everything you heard, other than Vic's guitar and her singing, was him on his synthesizer and his computer. So he was able to do all this layering, it's all crazy. this level of detail, all these different sounds, right? just with that, you know? Remarkable. Remarkable. What, what excuse does anybody else have? Just, <laughs> you want to make music? Go make it, man. Get the stuff and go make it. You have to know how to do it. You gotta learn. You gotta <laughs> you put gotta in the time, of course. Oh my God! There's there's certainly a high level of talent here, and you've gotta be creative. And it's hard. Like this this style of music and doing stuff like this is hard because it's really hard making good, unique uh, stuff that sounds yeah, like this. Yeah, and there's a lot you know? of different like ambient sounds mm -hmm. that I heard in this song. Just like the, just like the asylum. Um, and, oh my God! I'm just like tingling the back of my neck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a few moments like that in, in this with, within this album. Yeah. 
God, That's where smart, that production smart, comes through. smart. My goodness, I felt it was a phantom over my shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> just... That might have just been my hand on your butt. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Man, oh, thank you, baby. Thank you so very much. You're so beautiful. Like, really, though, I have been touched, and I hope that my community, our community over here, are touched as well. So beautiful. Yeah, and I say this to all the artists that, that choose our channel to, to support us and, and share their music, and I yeah. say this to you as well. I really do appreciate it. Really though. Um, you know, there's a lot of reaction channels out there. According to Kai from Nightwish, is over 40,000. <laughs> no, that was just on Nightwish. That was just oh, on Nightwish. Oh, that's true, that was... just on Nightwish. Forgive me. <laughs> so, you know, when, when they pick us, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure we're not the only people that they pick, but I mean, still. that we're on the list and stuff, and that they yeah. want to see you react to it and see what you feel. See us react to it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You, mostly, mostly you, let's yeah. be real. <laughs> so, you know, I appreciate it, and yeah. it makes us feel good. And, it does. Uh, the only thing we could hope for is that we can uh, share your music to as many people as are willing to hear it. So. Yes, I hope so. Yes, indeed. Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much yes, for supporting our you. channel. Appreciate it. Beautiful. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction uh, album review as much as I did. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up. Comment below your thoughts on how you felt about this album and the songs and everything, you know. Don't leave without subscribing, but also subscribe to their channel as well, okay? And share our comments. Yeah, all the links are going to be in the description. Yes. Hit the bell to get notified. Yes, and as always. As always. Keep it metal. Metal forever, baby. Love you guys. Love you, Jimmy. And happy New Year's, guys. Yes, happy New Year's. <laughs> yes, Let's be make good this one uh, an excellent New Year. And best that we can. All right. Bye for now. Okay. Thank you, guys.